Right. Aloha, welcome, thank you for coming. Today we're talking about GMO, lab GMO labeling in Hawaii. This is my outline. I just wanted to put this in here to show you the overall what we're doing. So first I'll be talking about what is GMO. I'll give you a basic overall of what GMO is for the ones that don't know what GMO is. So thing, second thing I'll be doing is I'll be talking about GMO and health. So I'll be just giving an overall of what GMO, how GMO affects health and the environment. And lastly, I'll, I'm going to try and tell you why I think GMO is, GMO labeling, sorry, is good. Because I really do think it's good. It's a good thing. So first off is what is GMO? GMO is genetically modified organism. An organism that is genetically modified to improve it over its original counterpart in any way. Here are some, here are some crops that are considered GMO that we use every day. So, GMO effects on the environment. GMO products, they, how do I say, the soil, the soil that, that GMO, GMO products, crops like um, corn, or well, on, on the islands, we have a lot of papaya, which is GMO too. They are, um, we get, they're sprayed with pesticides. For those who don't know who that is, what it is, it's chemicals. Pesticides is chemicals. Chemicals that, they're not good. It's not good. It's like poisonous. It, for example, how poisonous it is. They used it for as a chemical bomb. They use it in chemical bombs during World War One. Okay. So uh, what you see here, that's actually this part of the soil that like coming out from over here and here, where it's, it's showing. It's when the rain comes down hard. This is on Kauai, by the way. When the rain comes down hard, the soil will get washed down into the ocean, and this is the polluted water, as you can see. And over here. Um, this is them spraying the pesticides, as you can see. And this is right here, this is something good I want to explain. If it's not safe to breathe, how is it safe to eat? So as you can see, if you can see in this corner here, he's wearing a gas mask. Because this, the stuff that's spraying pesticides, it's not good to breathe in. So if it's not, it makes you ask the question, if it's not good to breathe in, why is it good to eat? Oh, here's something. On, there's another picture of koi in a different angle. Um, this over here, that's all where GMO crops works. This is all the planting where the plantations and GMO crops are. This is some of them you can see are still going, yeah. But then all the spots that are brown, what you That's what's left of the previous one. That's what pesticides and GMO crops do to the land. Look over here. This is all green. This is houses and stuff. This is all the forest, and this is just where the crops are. Grown. Look at how bad it, it destroys the forest and wildlife, you know, everything else. GMO effects on health. GMO effects on health. Like I said before, GMO, um, GMO products are sprayed with pesticides. Pesticides is chemicals. Yes? Pesticides. What can it do to you? We eat it every day. So it's not bad at first when you first eat it, but after a while, it can cause serious health issues, like one of them would be cancer, down the road. So I think years after you eat this stuff, like years of eating GMO products, down the road you can get like cancer or other diseases that could kill you. And here's a sign over here that says, I just included in this, just to show you. It's, it's you know, so next one. Ah, Ron, should we label you GMO? I think we should. Why should we label GMO? Think of it this way. People want to ban GMO, right? They want to ban it so nobody can have it. But then other people want to grow it because it's helpful to them, to the people. You know, it, it makes, we get more um, profit out of it. And there's more crops that are being made because of GMO and more survives. The, you know, it's a big thing to talk about. But overall, it's good in the economy type of way, not in the environment. So people want to have GMO. People don't want to have GMO. You know, it's an even, even thing. I think what would be a good thing to have would be we should label it. We should label GMO. Why? If we label GMO that way, so like think of, let's say, papaya, right? We should have like a sign on there, like a sticker, like you put on papaya that says it's a GMO crop. Yeah? So if it, if it has that, then the people that's going to want to eat GMO, they know that that's a GMO crop. And the people that don't want to, they can go and have the organic. 
Now, GMO currently is not labeled. Only in certain places it is. But currently it's not labeled. Meaning, you don't really know what you eat. You could be eating it. Think of it. If you don't know what you're eating, would you want to eat it? Like I could, okay, let's, let's make it somewhere into this. If I gave you what looked like chocolate, but I don't tell you it's chocolate, and you don't know if it's chocolate, would you eat it? No. Think of it that way. <laughs> and here's the picture. Yes, you guys do have the right to know what you're eating, right? Oh, how's this picture? I found this on These, let me see. The carrot is saying, just trust us. I don't see what's wrong with the carrot except for it's frequently got eyes and teeth and hands. But this is, all these are here are GMO products, apparently in the picture. It says, just trust us. As in, oh, okay, we should just trust, we should just trust that we're going to be good for you. Would you want to eat something that has two heads like this? You want to eat a chicken that has two heads? You know, or or a, cow, a cow with three eyes and one unicorn looking thing on his head? Or how about a tomato? Or that pig with two noses. Would you want to eat that? You know? Would you trust eating stuff like this? Think of it that way. It looks like mutated stuff, and that's what GMO is. It's mutated. Yeah. We should label GMOs. Any questions? No? No, nothing? All right, then. Thank you for coming to the speech. Mahalo.